Hey guys, today we'll see how can we install Eclipse IDE for Python or to work in Python. So to work uh, Python in Eclipse, we need to have like three requirements. Like we need to have some softwares pre-installed in our system. So first thing is we we gonna need uh, Java, then we need Python, and then we need Eclipse. So basically, we'll first download all the files and then start with the process. Okay, first we'll download Java. So to download Java, open your browser and type uh, java jdk and click on the first link the page opens and scroll down a little bit okay here here you can see we have two versions for windows x86 and uh, x64 x86 just means that you are installing it in a 32-bit system and x64 for 64-bit if you don't know the system architecture of your system just minimize it and go to this pc and properties here you can see which system like which architecture you have in your system and close it so download it for x64 like majority now everyone has it and take here and download it so when you click on the download if it takes to a login page if you have patience you can create an account and sign in and then download the file from this official website otherwise i have already downloaded it and i have uh, given links in the description you can easily download it from there so once the download completes you'll have a file like this now we have java in our system okay now we'll install python go to google and type python go to downloads and click on download python save that file once you have finished downloading the python you'll have uh, two files now we need to download the third file so not last but not the least okay okay i messed it up uh not the last okay last but not the least we need to download eclipse it is a main thing and now open your browser and type eclipse download click on this one eclipse id for java developers go click on that okay here you can see something this package was released on just click here because it will take you to a new version of that package and now scroll down and select eclipse for java developer 64 bit click on it and download it okay now we have all the files we need for this eclipse thing to work uh see these are our files so first and the foremost we need to install the java let's install java double click on that and wait for some time okay uh now click next next okay let it install okay now hit next okay uh, installation has completed click close once the java has been installed so we should create a path in environment variables we should add an entry of java in that so for that click on this pc uh, windows like the local disk c in your systems and go to program files and java and jdk bin okay here you can see this path right uh, click on the blank space over here so you can select copy the path and now right click on this pc properties advanced system settings and environment variables in the system variable select the path and edit okay now click on new you can paste the address which you have copied so paste it hit ok and ok ok that's it close this one also now we should install python open it and uh, install python run uh, ok here 
tick this one and install now okay now the installation has been completed click close okay now we have both java and python in our system so to verify the installation of both we'll just run few commands to check uh, whether the installation has been successful or not so for that open command prompt windows run command prompt and here you can type some commands type java c and hit enter so if you see something like this instead of getting an error like a command not found that means java has been installed you can also check the java installation like this whole uh, java hyphen version so it will give you output like this so to verify the same for python type python hyphen hyphen version okay so it will give you the version of python which is installed in your computer okay now uh, the third file this one eclipse we need to extract it first right click on it and hit extract all so just hit extract if you have some extraction tools like winrar 7zip that also works so once the extraction is completed you will get to see folder this now open this folder and open eclipse so this is the eclipse we are going to use now open the eclipse okay now you have to set the default workspace for that click launch just let it be default directory and so when the eclipse opens first we have to go to help and um, install new software type http colon slash double slash and pydev dot org slash updates hit enter so it's gonna search some packages right now the packages we need to work in python okay here we have so click on the first one and hit next it's gonna take some time so next and accept terms of license agreement and finish it so you can see software is being installed let's wait for some time let it install okay now install anyway click on it okay i know it lasts for a restart eclipse id and hit on restart now so once it get restarts okay now the eclipse got restarted first we'll change the perspective to python at first it will be a java perspective so we should work on python right so we should select it to pydev and open click on here and uh, new project uh, select pydev and pydev project hit next now give a project a name like uh, test i'll give a test and here the important step uh, please configure an interpreter before proceeding click on it and select config first in path uh, basically you have to do it once so it is like you can see configuration is in process so you have to just do it once because it sets up the python into okay you will get a windows 5 alert just allow access it and it will go away now you see the interpreter the default currently python so every time you create a python project it will defaultly select it to python and now we'll hit finish okay here we have uh, our project created now click on it and new uh, python package you can also directly create the file okay now hit give some name like uh, what package one hit finish okay just hit okay now in the package one create a pydev module it is like a program is a program file for python now give a name like a program one okay hit finish okay so here we have 
the python id to work on python and just we'll try to run a program so before that if you want to increase the font size just go to window preferences and general appearance colors and fonts select basic and select text font and edit uh, select how much you are you want how much you are comfortable with like between 12 14 12 is fine and apply and apply and close okay now we'll just check up program if it is if everything we have done is working or not so, okay we'll uh, create a program like print um i am the king okay we'll try to run it control f11 or uh, select python run and okay and hit okay here we can see the output so python interpreter and everything is working well you can also run a program by run and this one click on this one and it is working so if you're not satisfied it will check other code like uh, if two is less than one uh, print i'm the king let's run it okay it's not printing anything because two is not greater than one we'll just change it to two is greater than one and we'll rerun it and okay so it's printing so everything is working fine that's how you install eclipse to work in python okay with that being said adios amigos